Okay, Mine will be so, singing. So she, be on like, she, don't like, she, don't, she don't like people to know, but she be, ah. Oh, let me, let me hear some, Stuffy B. Saucy. What's popping, y'all? You rocking with Jiggy Jones, and we supposed to have the good guy, Stevie J, in the building, but he is running a little late. But we do have his two kids on, the newest cast members of Growing Up Hip Hop, Savannah and Stevie Jr. What's popping, y'all? You know, you can believe whatever you want to believe. All that matters is what you think, because I'm going to continue doing what I'm going to do, because at the end of the day, I got to eat. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, so whatever you think I'm doing, OK, cool. It doesn't matter, because I already know what I'm doing in the back of my mind. Nothing crazy. Okay. And I'm just in my business, minding my business. And they're nosy, so <laughs> that's what you're going to That's, that's what that's they supposed to do, though. For real? No. So Stevie, like when, if she had, if she had a dude like pull pull up to pull up on her, like you 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 and you and your pops, y'all y'all doing like the bad boy scene, you know when Martin and uh and Will Smith came to the door, like yo who who is this guy, like y'all pulling up like that or y'all just y'all just let her do her? We let her do her, but we we definitely watch it from a distance. So now how y'all been? You know the past year been crazy. Um, uh, we had a lot of time to ourselves during quarantine during the pandemic. Just how how have y'all been during the pandemic and your family? I've been, I've been pretty good. I feel like the quarantine has helped me think more and just be more focused on my me building my brand, building me as a person. So it's helping me grow as a um, as a whole and make more money. How about yeah, you? It's, it's been helping me too. Um, mm -hmm. since quarantine started, I started making beats, producing, and all of that. So okay. I mean, it definitely helped me because I got a, a placement with Jack Boy and Dej Low. So that's fire. That's fire. Okay, okay. I see you doing your thing. Follow the top footsteps. Yes, sir. So I, I know you just graduated, uh, what, 2019 or 2020? Uh, 2020 last year. Okay, and I know you was bowling that writer, doing, doing your thing over there. I mean, I, I'll give you 40 myself, but we're going to talk about that another time. But but just how was graduation? I know your family was definitely proud of you. Um, Just how was your experience at writer? And I'm from Jersey as well, so. Oh, for real? Yeah, from well, North. Writer, writer was cool, but I didn't even get to graduate. Like, I ain't had no graduation. Yeah, like, yeah. I graduated, but I didn't get to graduate. So, I mean, it's cool. I got the paper in the mail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, Savannah, going back to your clothing line, uh, when did you start uh, just, just going into fashion and, and, and designing? And, and, and when did you just develop a passion for that? Well, I think I first got into fashion probably like three years ago, I would say. I was just like doing little stuff, though. Like not really doing anything too much, just like, putting people together like even if it's him or my dad I'm just putting little outfits together for them here and there mm -hmm. and it just kind of came to mind like oh you can make your own stuff so I started tie-dyeing stuff like during mm -hmm. corona before it, it was a whole tie-dye wave because you see everybody with tie-dye on right. yo I was already on that like I was <laughs> tie-dyeing I tie-dyed oh. everything like you true to this new to this yeah like I am you not new to this but yeah I was tie-dyeing stuff and then I was just like I kind of like, I seen the puffer print. I'm like, oh, I like that. So I'm just mm -hmm. like, okay. Then I was like, maybe if I go to LA, it's going to be easier for me. And now sure enough, I came out here and it's so, it's so, so, so easy. The manufacturers, everybody's right. You know? Right. Yeah. Shout out to Tone. Shout, shout out to, to Forte. Because yeah. Forte put me on to the, um, to the guy to print my stuff up. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Where, where were you living before? Before LA? I lived in Atlanta. Oh, okay. Atlanta. Yeah. yeah. And Atlanta, Atlanta usually like you know they they call that like the Black Hollywood. So, so like, what what was um what what's different from from the LA vibe than than Atlanta? It's completely because everybody usually go to Atlanta to to pop. Yeah, everything. but it's burnt and turn at this point. Like I know everybody is trying to come here because it's just yeah. overpopulated. You you see they ran out of gas. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? It's, it's little things, but it means yeah. yes, yes. Like it's overpopulated and it's just. It's too much going on to the point where you got to always watch your bag. And I'm just like, I'm trying to be carefree. But other than that, the food is what I miss from Atlanta. That's, mm. that's the, the food, the strip clubs, the, strip clubs. The, oh. the whole little, the little vibe. Cause exactly. Because I heard the strip clubs on the West Coast is, is, is whack. Whack, trash. Damn. Yeah, I, I, I I'm going to stay myself in the crib. If anything, I'm going to bring the strippers here, and okay. that's what we can do. Other than I'm not going to the strip club. Got you, got you. Now, now, now on the show, you know, OnlyFans uh, becomes a topic. You know, you know, doing, especially during last year, during the pandemic, you know, OnlyFans, people was running it up. You know, I, I ain't mad at, 
I ain't mad at nobody making your money happen where you get it. But um, but what y'all what y'all think about OnlyFans? Would you ever ever tap in? Well, as you see on the episode, you know, I I didn't um I'm not I'm not on that. God bless the child that has they own. If that's what you want to do mm-hmm. to get your coin and that's what you gotta do, go ahead. But I hope that I just want the money to be worth it. You know what I'm mm. saying? It's worth it. Don't just be out here pa- making enough to pass the rent and now you can't eat. So that's so enough. what would be what would be the amount that you would consider worth it? Like per month. Well, this is this is priceless. So I don't think that I'm gonna be on there popping this twang, but <laughs> and, um, um, a, a good amount of a price for me. Somebody have to come with that cash because I'm not even pay, I'm not even gonna play with the um, old, get it, um, put it in the bank and all that. Yeah, my, yeah, gazillion, bazillion, castillion dollars. Okay, okay. Like, see people people making a, a million in three days. That's that's solid for you, or, or you no, need? I need it more than a I need it up front. That's good that you're making it in three days, but that means you gotta wait to buy the computer and be like, oh my God, oh my God. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have that. I need to have it and and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because what am I gonna do for that mill? I mean, it's it's a lot of people that made a mill. I'm sure they could they got some advice on on (laughs) it. I'm telling you, people they've been running it up over the past year. They yo, I mean, we we we've seen it, we've seen it. Yeah, we've definitely seen it first. But um, but, but Steve, as far as far as ball, like you, I know you're producing now, but um, you're doing your thing at Ryder. You ever had any aspirations of either going to the league, playing overseas, anything um, like that? I had, I had an agent after I graduated, but I don't know, it just didn't work out mm. the way it should have. So it's gotcha. never too late, though. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Still young, still got you. Still be you hooping every day and training every day. I mean, most of the time, not every day, how it used to be. Mm-hmm. But yeah, music taking up that time now, so I can get yeah. back on that wave though. That's nothing. No, that's a fact. Who who else you um you you would want to work with or produce for? Or you just taking it as, as it go? I mean, I'm just taking it as it goes. I'm pretty much I could work with anybody I want to. That's how I feel. I mean, we mm-hmm. got those connections, so yeah. And, you know, you know your pops back in the day being part of the hit man. You know, they was making making everybody dance. They had the R and B joints, the hip hop joints on Smash Radio on Smash. So like, what's what's your produce uh, production vibe? Like, you making people dance? You 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 want some trap? Oh uh, uh, uh. oh! There he go. Oh shit! He came, he came. He came late, but he came. He's still here. I'm trying to find out where, where I'm at. How how long in there? Hold on. Oh, here we go. All right. Yeah. Not in the store. <laughs> I'm not in the building. I'm not playing with him. He in, he in the corner store, getting some rap snacks. <laughs> What's good, bro? What's going on, man? How you? I'm blessed. How you? What's up, Steve and Vonna? What's good? <laughs> yeah, so so I, I, was, I was just chopping it up with them, you know, asking about the show, of course, asking about everything they're getting into. Now, um, now I know you, you're no stranger to reality TV, you know, a reality uh-huh. TV veteran. Uh, <laughs> A legend in the game, but so 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 we TV got a bigger bag than VH1. Why you leave VH1? Who said I left VH1? Oh, you oh, okay. Who so told you that? Back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, listen, first and first and foremost, let's get this established. I'm not a cast member, I'm just on here with my children. My children are okay. cast members, my daughter and my son. I'm just facilitating the, the whoop free whoop. Okay, yeah. I, I, ain't mad, I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that. I'm, so, just, I'm just, I'm just enhancing uh, little Stevie in the good vibe. You feel me? Got you. Got you. Now, now, as far as quarantine over the past year, ask them how you know how they've been doing quarantine. Um, just how you've been and, and what you've been up to. And I just been cooling, been working, been um, developing new shows, developing new artists, just doing what the, the normal. It's nothing. Um, the quarantine didn't do anything different from what I used. To. It didn't make mm-hmm. me do anything different. Yeah. Now, 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 in the first episode, you you, you come through, you you grilling grilling your daughter, um, just about just about the moves she making and everything. Um, uh-huh. you're saying you you was the youngest of six. Right. Yeah. You, you had to you had to grind up doing what you do. So so how how do you yeah. keep your kids you know just on that same grind? How do you keep them humble and, and, and to get the hustle that you got? Well, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's a, it's already established in their DNA, so they got that hustle. But for me, just growing up, that showed me a little different, how to respect things a little different. You know what I'm saying? How to really get a pair of shoes and let them joints and respect mm-hmm. them. On down there. Any little thing, 
pocket like a 50 on one. Just respect the life in general. You got to walk light on the universe. You know what I mean? No, that's a fact. That's a fact. Now, now ask him, I ask, um, ask Stevie Jr., you know, like, what what does he do when when, when dudes pull up on, on, on Savannah? So as, as a father, you know, I, you, know you, you remember like in Bad Boys 2 when Martin and Will, they... They pulled up to the door, so that's how that's how you come in, or or you you kind of play, play the back role. No, I'm, I'm cool because I don't she don't introduce me to a lot of, of people, so you know. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? She keeps her life private like that. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool with me. But when we do, when I do meet somebody, they usually cool. They already know what it is. They don't want these type of problems. They don't want no smoke. Nah. Got you. You you uh you you fuck with uh twist a little twist. Who's that? The little little bro on the uh, on the show, little twist. Oh, you talking about young money dude? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like I fuck with Wayne, so I fuck with him. You know what I'm mean? saying? He cool. I ain't never had no problem with little 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 fizz. Mm-hmm. <laughs> twist, little twist. Oh, twist. There ain't never had no problem. With him. I see. Uh, uh, was he was he trying to pull up on you, uh, Savannah? <laughs> was Twist trying to pull up? <laughs> huh? He was pulling up on you, Savannah. I said, was he trying to pull up? Saucy V? Saucy V. <laughs> he was trying to pull up on you? Right. You know what? No. He just, you know, he had, he's funny. He's a little comedian. You know? okay. he, he's hilarious. One of the things that he said was, what did he say on the episode? Uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, he said, said about to have a, a little Stevie baby. Not with me, though. Okay. I don't know. I have, I have a sister. I have a sister. And maybe he was about to meet her out there, but. I'm not. This it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a little bit taller than him. Oh damn! So so oh so you got a height requirement? Excuse me. Say what? Mm-hmm. I say I say you got a height requirement. So how tall how tall dudes gotta be to? I'm not saying I have a height requirement, but okay. she doesn't meet it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm I'm he's you know what I'm saying? Yeah, got you. That's what it is. Got I'm not gonna say too much about that right there, but I'm a little. I'm not a stallion, but I am a strong pony. Got you. Okay. Got you. Got you. So dudes got dudes gotta be careful. Oh yeah, I did want to ask. I know um I know your dog, your dog Savage. Um you you posted on your IG today. Uh you know, Pet Mark count your days. I know Pet Mark is like killing, I know they're killing uh killing dogs <laughs> and me, and all types of stuff. So what happened in your situation? Because Pet Mark Let me tell you what happened with Pet I dropped Savage off yes, at about yes. let me just show you what Savage looks like right now. Not only is he shaving naked damn near he has a comb oh. he has two stitches right here hold on oh that's <laughs> fucked up what they did to my guy man but it's okay. my guy like, I, have, yeah. I have talked to corporate since then you know what i'm saying and i'm also gonna you know do whatever i have to do that's why i'm not trying to talk about it too much but just long story short i dropped him off i called to pick him up and when i called to pick him up they not only like put me on hold for like five minutes but they were like oh i'm sorry he had an incident he got nicked so, you know, a nick is like when you get a haircut and, you know, they... they yeah, they, they grade you a little bit. Yeah. His skin was open. It was uh, it was deep. He had a deep hole in there. So he had to end up getting stitches. He had to be put uh, to sleep. He got to get pills. Damn. All this is crazy. He has to wear this comb. So, PetSmart, count your fucking days. Damn, PetSmart? Yeah, I, I saw it in the news the other day. They, they killing dogs. I don't know about that, man. They, they gotta get it I didn't see that. He wouldn't have had an appointment. No, yeah, they, they gotta get it together. That's that's why I saw I saw the connection. I'm like, hold up, pet mark is just out of control right now. Yeah, no, nah, pet mark is about to get in control though. Savannah's pet mark. Man, man, well, well, uh, well, hope, hopefully Savage, you know, heal up and, and you know, just never go back there. Just never yeah, it's back over. There. It's over. Quick, it's over. Back there. But um, well, real 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 quickly, uh, uh, Stevie Stevie Senior, um, you know, we 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 lost a couple a couple of uh OGs in the game, a couple of legends in the game recently. Uh, with DMX and, and, and Black Rob, just um two people you work with, you know, uh, back in the '90s. But but just 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 what's your favorite uh, your favorite memory or just both of them? We can't hear you. Are you you on mute? Well, with Rob, we used to hang out all the time at um Daddy's house. You know what I'm saying? So I have a lot of fond memories of Rob. You know, just cracking jokes all the time. Always making things lighter than what it really was. If it was a, a situation, him make you feel better mm-hmm. instantaneously. And with X, you know, he was always preaching. He'd see me, he'd be like, How you going? What you gonna do next? How you gonna do them? They can't do nothing with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This was like, you um, know, when I first had a conversation with him, he was telling me about knowing your powers and all that. Mm-hmm. So 
he always preached that from um since you know since i met him until the day he died so you know prayers up for their families and you know what i'm saying I'll see them in paradise one day and all that yeah definitely definitely now now i, I see you 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 still always in your producing bag um you know a couple years ago summer on summer walker joint um on i'm on I'm I'm oh no 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 just recently, um, Christmas, I came out with her project. I'm on that joint. Oh, you on that um, joint? I just dropped a drum joint. I got nav. I got mad joints coming out. You know what okay. I'm saying? Still, yeah. Still, still out here doing, doing, doing your thing. Yeah. But who, yeah, yeah. Who, I'm, pro I'm producing with Stevie, though. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. Who, who gives you that call? Because I know you like your, your phone, your phone probably blowing up. But who gives you that call when it's time when it's time for you to, to, to step in and produce? I mean, it all depends on who it is. It might be London himself might just pull up at the crib and be like, yo, come on, let's cook something up. Mm -hmm. uh, or I'll go to um, Arizona with Stevie and we'll go see him. Or, you know, it all depends. Puff will call me and say he wants something. Everybody always calling yeah. me saying any stuff. I love it. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm, I'm just producing with my son everything. Okay. Everything. Do you ever, do you ever uh, say no to a, to, to a call? Yeah. I've said no uh, shoot, uh, a lot my career. I just don't. I won't touch certain things. I won't, you know what I'm saying, do certain music. I'm a, I'm a musician first. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. That's a fact. Now, now Stevie Jr., you're you, you build, you building your resume right now. Um, yeah. Just how, you know, this, of course, you got the direct plug with your pops, but some people might some people might look at it like, oh, you know, you because you got that direct plug, because, you, you know, it's, it's nepotism. And what, what, what would you say to that? I mean, everything now in, like, music, like what I've seen is what the artists like and like the artist and producer relationship. So, I mean, sometimes you just can't, those relationships can't be made. You gotta mm -hmm. really like put time and effort into those, into those relationships. Got you. And, and, and producing is, that's your only focus right now? You think about um, uh, just being a, a full-fledged artist, rapping and singing? The... I mean, we doing all of that too and modeling as well. Got you, got you. Do you, um, do you play any instruments? Um, a little bit of the piano, I'm learning a little bit. That's it. Gotcha. And picking up the guitar. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, musical family. Uh, Savannah, you, you touching any any music or you you you? We about to get in the studio tonight. We got a session. Oh shit! Okay. okay. Wanna be so, singing? So she, she be on like she don't like she don't, she don't like people to know, but she be ah. Oh, let me let me hear some Saucy B. Saucy. <laughs> Who you at with it? She can sing too. Her. She can sing too. I don't have nothing for y'all. Maybe on the next season of Grand Memphis Pop, y'all catch me on there doing something. But as far as me and studio, nah, not for me. I'm I'm like family. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. What is that song? Which one? I don't know. I don't know. I thought I was about to sing a song, but I I can't. Yeah, you done gas me up, and now you. <laughs> Damn, it's all good. It's all good. Cap. It's all good. Queen Capina. Queen Capina. I, I see. The, I see the crap going on. So, <laughs> so, so this 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 season, you know, the first episode is already out. Um. So so this season, what what can people expect from the Jordan family? I know uh, Stevie C. And you say you just playing a facilitator role. So we so so people not expecting to see you a lot. You just gonna pop in and. I'm I'm on it. I'm on there a few times. Okay. I'm I'm gonna support Saucy and Stevie a hundred percent. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I, I might just pop up. You know what I'm saying on on the scene or two. Got you, got you. And, and, and as far as y'all, um, what what can people really expect once once they tune in? For me, it's just I'm. I already told. I already told you, but just being a big brother, being a detective, and seeing what Vanna got going on, figuring out what she got going on, because she don't like telling people. Right. Yeah, I just feel like my business is my business, so that's what you're gonna see. A lot of me just, you know, hey, mind your business, buddy. And just, kind of, <laughs> I'm maneuvering around a lot because it's like, you know, it's your to, first year, huh? I said this is your first season, and you getting there, you getting on there, you got fire, you you lighting up the room. Mm -hmm. You so know what I'm like, saying? Yeah. When you see, you're show. gonna see that, and especially in the first episode, you see that when I. Walked into the room and everybody's like, "Oh, who's that? Who's that?" Yeah, you're gonna see a lot more of that, but you're also gonna see, you know, I might get into a little something here and there. We might have to okay. resolve those problems. Okay. Do do you do make do you make any connections with the cat? Any 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 love connection? Anybody? Well, well, both. Well, as far as Junior and uh, Junior 
um, in in uh, in South Carolina. Y'all gonna have to. Y'all gonna have to see. Y'all gonna have to see because there is a lot of cast mates if you think about it. So yeah. Okay, got you, got you. You have the Jordan family, Stevie Senior, Stevie. Thanks Jordan, for having us, Saucy V, Savannah. <laughs> I appreciate y'all, appreciate y'all coming through, man. Chopping it up with me, like I said, I Jiggy Jones. Um, appreciate y'all, man. Where, where, where can they? When and where can they? Um, uh, see growing up hip hop this new season. Um, it's every Thursday on WeTV, WeTV. at 9 a Central. And you can also shop the Good Vibe. It's in the link in my bio as well as on its own Instagram, Good Vibe Co. Underscore, underscore. Got you. And plug your Instagrams as well. What's your Instagrams? Oh, I'm Saucy V underscore. And I'm Stevie I. I. And, you are and I'm at Hitman Stevie J underscore one. Um, yes, sir. And I'm excited about tonight, 9 o'clock, WeTV. Watch them two get busy growing up hip hop. Let's get it. Let's get it. Well, I appreciate y'all. Hopefully, hopefully we can do this again and sit down in person. And uh, we'll see you soon.